Hello folks and welcome to what is going to be very much a vlog of two halves today because today is pretty, well I say pretty much, today is my final opportunity to insulate the garage before I do my 24 hour charity live stream which for me is tomorrow, for you is already five hours deep if you're watching this when this vlog first comes out so fingers crossed if you flick over to the gaming channel you'll see that I'm nice and toasty and warm so you know that I actually got it done in the second half of today's vlog but in a different task linked to the gaming channel if you've seen my new Christmas challenge series that's on there I've basically set myself the goal that throughout December I'm going to make 24 videos a football manager advent calendar if you will where I play football manager mobile in front of a different Christmas tree every day I did my one in my house for the first and now because I've got the 24 hour stream over the weekend I need to do second, third and fourth right now, this morning I don't think there's three trees near my house and to be honest I don't want to do all the easy ones near my house now I should probably do them at a time when I really am desperate so I've come into the centre of Peterborough I don't know if these count I mean there's loads of them that could be a complete cop out I could do the whole series right now but I'm trying to find three decent Christmas trees we'll get bugged down in the the rules about repetition later on I'm pretty sure though the rule is going to be if I were to stand here that's then doing it in front of all of those trees that are behind me so I can't use any of them again so I'll have to carefully position myself when the time comes I could use that one but then I wouldn't really use that one behind me if I did it here it's all going to be very complicated and I'm also doubly frustrated because what I thought was going to be the main tree in the centre of Peterborough not only is it not a proper tree, it's just a pile of balls but also they're assembling a Christmas market around it so it's really loud which isn't going to make for the best video one issue I'm noticing immediately on this little scouting mission which I really should have thought of first but in shopping centres, restaurants, coffee shops they all have music playing I can't have music playing in the background because I'm going to get copyright strikes for it I'm going to have to find 23 different places that are outside, no music playing, and have a tree. This is going to be harder than I thought. Right, three videos recorded for the Christmas challenge series over on the gaming channel. My hand is so cold, I was struggling to make my phone recognise it as a human limb by the end of making those videos, which ordinarily would be a bad thing. Today, it's just that extra bit of motivation that I need to get me to go home and sort that insulation. Now, there are a couple of other bits and bobs I need to do while I'm out in town, but I'm going to try and do them really quickly because I've got to get home and make sure that that garage is going to be warm enough to keep me from ever feeling this cold again. Goodness me, is it a cold day? Oh, here we go then. Finally, after about three months of having some of this stuff, the next time you see that garage door, it will be, what's it called? Can't remember the word now. It'll be warm. What is the word? Oh, it's so cold in here, I can't think. Not illustrated. Insulated. There we go. Sheesh. Well, half an hour has passed. I've opened a lot of boxes and decided most of this is beyond my capabilities. Um, I need I need my dad to come and help me. It's not going to get done for the stream. Not all of it. Um, this, which is the garage threshold seal, looks straightforward enough, other than the fact that the adhesive is one of these. I need one of those gun things. I don't have one. Plus, I can't then be in here for 24 hours after it's gone down. Can't do that part. Um, this thing, which is supposed to go over the top of the door to stop drafts coming through, came with screws. I don't own a screwdriver. I don't own a drill. I do, but I don't know where it is. That is gonna wait for another day. Um, what I have got, which I think I can probably sort myself, is this which goes down the sides to stop drafts and is sticky. I can do stuff that's sticky. And then these go on the back of the door. And again, they're sticky backed. So I think I'm gonna do those two. And then I've got a set of curtains that were gonna be for the ceiling, but I think I'm just gonna attach them to that beam there. 
so they come down and offer some additional protection against drafts. That's pretty much the stuff we're not attaching, that's pretty much all it was for, stopping drafts. So I'll do it eventually. I'm not going to try and use a rivet gun today because that terrifies me. But I'm going to try and do the stuff that involves just stickers. I can do stickers. Right, we're getting somewhere now. I have the um, insulation on the back of the door. That's completely covered. I've also got the little draft excluder thing all the way around. This was supposed to just be for the sides and there was supposed to be a big clippy thing to go at the top. But the big clippy thing I don't think is going to fit and that does the job absolutely fine. So the one place we're not sealed is at the bottom which is what we need that big bit along the floor with the, the big glue gun thing. It's just not going to get done today. That can be a job for next week. What I'm going to do now, I've got these big floor to ceiling curtains. I'm just going to hammer into that and just have them coming down here as well just to offer a little bit more warmth and protection and then as a last thing to get me through the weekend these are all clothes that are supposed to be going to a charity shop in bags i'm just gonna put them along the bottom of the door they're gonna seal it up nice and we should we should be a little bit warmer in here then okay thinking about it now after the event after the event it would have made more sense to use both curtains Put one at that end, one at that end, but I think that's going to do a job. And I just don't want to take it down and start again. I've still got a lot to do to get this into a usable state to live in for 24 hours. But I've got those piles of old clothes over at the bottom. I think that end of the room is completely secure. That big heavy curtain, they're heavy curtains. I think that's going to do a decent job for us at that end. We've got the heater down this end. Now I just need to tidy up a bit, and we're there, ish. Change my mind again. I left the other one where it was because I couldn't get it down. I did want to put them both over, but in the end I've just turned the other one on its side. So it fits most of the width. There is a little gap just there, but we've got double thickness over most of it. And to be honest, if that gap just there leads to this room being too cold to spend the night in, when I've been working in here all day every day for the last three months, then it means it's minus 10 and we're under six inches of snow and I should probably go back in the house in those circumstances anyway. I could, if worse comes to the worst, just move the stream onto my laptop and go and sit on the sofa. It would be a bit noisy in the background but if that's a problem, that's what we'll do. Andy has come home from school with two ornaments for the Christmas tree. Are you going to show us what you made? Good. Which one of those did you make? That one. It wasn't that one, was it? Which one did you make? You made... This? Yeah. And this one was a gift from a church that they went to, but he didn't go, so he refused to go to a church with them, which is a bit of a surprise. I just don't think he's up for going out of school if he's not being prepared for it. So we saw it with when they tried to take him on his exciting school trip to Tesco last week, and again this week it's an unannounced school trip, even though. He likes churches and he would go there if we offered to take him to one. It's a church he's not been to before and he wasn't expecting to go, so one of those things. Um, behind me we have the lesser spotted mature student working away on work. It's not work, it's boring. It's not work, it's boring, apparently. Uh, she's not very happy about it. I am going to try and convince her to open our advent calendar today, but it might be a bit of a task because she's... Uh, she wants me to open it. She's not wearing makeup, which is why she's not showing you her face. But I can't unbox a, a girly advent well, calendar. Box. Oh, <laughs> oh, what is this? <laughs> we'll do that. <laughs> like how does this help? It's operating the two computer system. Hiding her work. It's like one of those unboxings you get on um, the mystery box channels that kids do, like blind bags. I'm just filming your hands in really bad light. I'm not touching <laughs> that thing, that's No, funny. I know. Ooh, ooh, oh yes. <gasps> this is on my Amazon as well. Oh, is it? What is it then? Oh, it's the brush, it's not the thing, but... Explain it for people like me who don't know what it is. I d I'm not sure. Is it just the brush? Oh no. Apply your... Okay, so I haven't got the product, but I have the brush. That's awesome. But what is it? 
It's for eyebrows. A wonder two. Is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, it's the brush, but not the product. I'm gonna have to go and buy the product now. Well, the product might be somewhere else in the box. Don't get too ahead of yourself. And if it's on your Amazon list, I may have bought it for you. I don't know if I have. I might have done though. <laughs> So it's just a face brush, is it? What? For eyebrows, Kevin. Oh, oh, I've got eyebrows. You brush that Can I have bit a go? for your eyebrows. Can I have a go? Or am yeah. I going to break it if I have a go? All right, here we go then. This, oh. this end is for product. I've not got any product. No, nor do I. So let's just get the old eyebrows brushed. Look. Or eyebrow. The other side is for brushing eyebrows. So, let's uh, just give it a little... It itches. I can poke yourself in the eye. You can have that back, I don't like it. How can you poke yourself in the eye? Because I was doing it left handed without looking. Can you do it, Kevin? Oh. You get it, you do it this way. That's, what, that's exactly what I did. But I couldn't control it. Are you going to open door number two? Oh, let's find it. How do we get into this thing? I didn't actually see this one yesterday. Open it. No, I want. How's it open? So, where is door number two? Snatch it off me, why don't you? See number two? I can't see it. Where? There it is. Okay, yeah, there it is. You can open it then. Daddy open it. Oh, I see. Well, I don't mind. I wanted this one for myself anyway. This is the best advent calendar. So, how do you get into that? Just rip at it. It is, it looks like a Hulk. It's not going to be Hulk, though, surely. It's a green man on a surfboard. Oh, oh, it's this guy. No, yeah, it's this guy. Splendid. I'll uh, hand that to Anna and she can add it to the collection. Right, and of course, the most important calendar of all is my snaffling pig pork scratchings one I don't know what flavor of scratchings we're gonna get in here today but let's let's get stuck does it say on the back perfectly salted let's try these ones that's what a pork scratching looks like for those of you who don't know much better than the salt and vinegar oh they're awesome Merry Christmas all right folks I think we're gonna leave that there I've still got four videos to edit. It's quarter to nine on the Friday night before the 24 hour live stream. I'd hope to get an early night tonight to try and catch up on some sleep or stock up on some sleep. Not looking like it's going to happen now. I've got to edit together the advent videos for the gaming channel for the second, third and fourth. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, plus tomorrow's vlog. This vlog that you're watching now needs to be edited and uploaded. And then I don't know, I guess I'll try and lie in a little bit. I start at 12. We'll see how we get on, I guess. By the time you're watching this, I'll already be five hours in. So if you didn't, by any chance, didn't know about the 24 hour live stream, head over to the gaming channel, pop in, say hello. Let me know that the vlog sent you over. And if you can spare any pennies at all to go towards the National Autistic Society, that's a charity that we're doing it for. Um, the Just Giving link is down below, but it's justgiving.com slash lelujo 2017. Any donations would be massively appreciated. We're hoping to raise a thousand pounds for a massively, massively important charity to, to us. And I guess a lot of you lot as well who found the channel because of the fact that you were probably looking for something to do with autism. And in which case that charity is probably as close to your heart as it is to ours. If you have enjoyed today's video, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Thank you very much for watching.